All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is Brother Azariah from W5, Jersey, Philly, coming back with another video, giving all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, which the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. Shalom, Shalom. All right, this is a W5 Amber Alert. I haven't done one of these right, in a long time, but through the Spirit, and we're going to do it again. Our right, Lord willing, I'm going to uh, try to do these more often to keep uh, Jake um, updated on things that's going on in the world. So as you may know, I'm going to open up the article. All right, here it says, New York City will require workers and customers uh, show proof of at least one dose for indoor dining and other activities. So basically what's going to take place is you can't go into indoor certain indoor places all right, like grocery stores, uh, the gym, for example, a restaurant. You may not be able to enter into some of these places unless you have proof of a, a, a COVID vaccine. All right. You got to show proof that you got the jab, man. All right. And they got cards out there that that basically solidify the fact that you got the COVID uh, shot. Now you got Jake out there. They selling them. All right. And Esau kind of shutting it down and and. um finding jake i believe 200k 50k all right so don't go and buy no damn fake vaccination card man are you gonna get jammed up out here all right but the fact of the matter is that they're now asking for proof to enter into these places now knowing esau esau is crafty all right real quick let me go to the book of first maccabees all right All right, this is the book of 1st Maccabees, all right, 8 and I want verse 4. All right, so this is the book of 1st Maccabees 8 and verse 4. It says, and that by their policy and patience, this is what I want, and patience, they had conquered all the place, though it were very, though it were very far from them, and the kings also that came against them from the uttermost part of the earth, Till they had discomfited them and given them a great overthrow so that the rest did give them tribute every year. So the point I wanted with that is that Esau, they they gain they gain a uh, gain one over on you with their policies. Now, when it comes to Esau's policies, they're not rushing things. You see Jake, Jake here, they about to get a certain check. They rushing it. You know, I can't wait to get the check. Cause when I get the check on Friday, I'm gonna go cop the Jordans. Or I'm gonna go get the Louis bag. All right, Esau's not like that, man. They hear that they're getting the check. All right, now they're they're meditating. They're thinking, okay, when I get the check, I'm gonna do A, B, C, and D. All right. Even if the check come late, they like, okay, that's good. It gives me more time to plan for A, B, and C. Esau's more patient. Jake is not patient, but Esau's patient. So uh, the uh, point of me saying all of that is, is that now you have them um, uh, starting off small. All right. They're giving you a, a, a mile and they're so, uh, slowly but surely going to take inches and inches and inches off of that mile that they once gave you. Right now, they're saying you can't go into certain dining areas. All right. And it's not going to they're not going to start off big and say, OK, all these dining areas, you can't come to them. There's going to be certain facilities that say, well, you can't come here unless you have the vaccine. Then it's going to get broader. Then it's going to become uh, more and more dining areas. Then it's going to be the gyms. All right. Then then it's going to be the grocery store. All right. And then once they stop you from going to the grocery store. All right. Then they're going to say, well, you can't come outside if you don't get the vaccine. All right, they're going to start doing that. Then you're going to still have people that's not getting a vaccine and be like, okay, well, I'm going to just stay home. Then they're going to knock on your door. Hey, I got the jab. All right, you got to take the jab. You may say no the first time. They come again. You may say no the second time. And then the third time, they're going to be kicking down your door, man. All right, and, and forcing the jab on you. Like uh, Governor Cuomo said. He said, we got to start going to these, into these communities. All right, we got to get these people in the car. All right, we got to get these people in the car. All right, and get the jab in them, man. All right, and get that, and, and, and get that vaccine in them. All right. So you see, this is, this is their plan. All right. But they're going to do it with patience. 
Now, also another thing that's very important is that I want to show you that New York has a lot of influence on the world. So real quick, it says um, New York is a global center for the for for the television, music and newspaper industries. New York is a major center for international affairs, international meaning globally. All right. It is home to the United Nations headquarters complex. Many major corporations are headquartered in New York City. All right. So you see here, New York has international uh, um, uh, influence. All right. For lack of better terms, for, for in, in Jake terms, hey, New York got clout all over the world, man. If you ain't know, now you know. So when you see New York making these big moves like this, now you know places like um, the UK is going to do it. Our Russia is going to do it. All right, China is going to follow, although they're enemies. But still, America still has the, the, the uh, chief influence on the earth right now. So within America... You have New York that has that international influence or international clout. Now, when they do certain things, then the others follow. So you see, um, all hell is about to break loose. Because now, what this what this does is, now you're gonna have you're gonna have people that's not really gonna be happy about taking a jab. Then they're gonna try to fight back. Then that's Jacob's trouble. All right. From from what I'm seeing, all right, and from what a lot of brothers are seeing, this says Jacob's trouble all over. What else does this say? This says that our salvation it draws nigh, man. Our salvation is nearer than when we believe. You got some Jake they thought, well, the Lord wasn't gonna come back in until 2035. Well, the Lord he could come back next year, Lord willing. All right, but with that even being said, I want to get this prop this precept. This is the book of Proverbs. 27 all right in verse 12 it says a prudent man that word prudent means wise it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil that's what we're doing now we're foreseeing it all right the evil didn't just pop on us all right it's catching us by surprise no we're watching it we're watching the pot boil up all right we're watching the food getting chefed up man all right so so we're watching the whole operation it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So what does it mean? And you hide yourself, meaning you come out of the world, man. You hide yourself from the things of the world. All right. So that when the Lord brings judgment on this place, you're not a partaker of the, the plagues and the judgment. All right. You're not going to receive the scourges all right, and lashes that this place is going to receive, man. You got to hide yourself from wickedness. All right. It's time for Israel to be righteous. All right. Change our garments in these last days, man. Evil is approaching us, man. And if you don't take heed to this word, if you don't stay strong and stay fervent and go harder for the Lord, you're not going to make it, man. These these different uh, uh, councils of Esau, they're going to uh, uh, overcome you and, and, um, and, and drown you like waves drown you, man. All right. So this is the W5 Amber Alert. All right. Lord willing, this was edifying to at least one brother or even one sister. With that, I'm going to give all honor and glory to the most high Yahweh, which the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom.